The increase in whole body temperature during exercise in hot and or humid climatic conditions, also known as hypothermia, is associated with a rise in sweat rate to allow for heat to be dissipated or lost to the environment via evaporation. Although sweating is helpful for minimizing the development of hyperthermia, it can lead to progressive dehydration if fluid losses are not offset by increased fluid consumption. Progressive dehydration reduces the ability of the heart to fill with blood and challenges the capacity to regulate or maintain blood pressure. The rate at which hyperthermia develops is also increased by dehydration, resulting in a reduced capacity to tolerate exercise in the heat compared with exercise in cooler climates. Sweat rates are highly variable between individuals and can range from 1 to 3 liters per hour. Also, the precise level of dehydration resulting in a decrease in performance is not accurately defined, especially in endurance trained athletes. However, it would appear that performance might begin to deteriorate when body mass losses via sweating exceed 2 to 3 percent. To ensure proper hydration before competition, it is generally advised to drink 6 milliliters of water per kilogram of body mass two to three hours before an event. This is also a good strategy to use during hot weather training in the week leading up to competition as well to ensure a good level of hydration. During competition, the ability to rehydrate depends on several factors, including the availability of fluids and the nature of the event. As such, it is difficult to provide specific recommendations for all athletes. It is advisable, however, to minimize excessive body mass losses during prolonged intense exercise in the heat because it reduces physiological strain and helps to preserve optimal performance. It is also important not to overhydrate as this can also lead to health issues. Although drinking in relation to the sensation of thirst is not the optimal strategy to maximize physical performance across all competitive events in the heat, it may be advisable for elite marathon runners, especially those that are heat acclimatized, because their perception of thirst is improved. When sweating, several electrolytes and minerals are lost, especially sodium. As such, adding sodium to fluids during exercise may be required in heavy or salty sweaters. Heavy sweaters may also deliberately increase sodium or salt intake in their meals prior to and following hot weather training. During exercise lasting longer than one hour, athletes should aim to consume a solution containing sodium. In athletes prone to muscle cramping, it is recommended to increase the sodium content of water or sports drinks. Athletes should also aim to include carbohydrates in their hydration regimen for exercise lasting longer than one hour. This can be achieved through a combination of fluids and solid foods. Following training or competition in the heat, rehydration is particularly important to optimize recovery. It is suggested to replace 150% of body mass losses within one hour following the end of exercise and for drinks to include electrolytes. From a practical perspective, however, this may not be achievable for all athletes for various reasons. Thus, it is more realistic to replace 100 to 120% of body mass losses over a one to two hour period. The preferred method of rehydration is through the consumption of both fluids and foods. Along with water and sodium losses, athletes should replenish their carbohydrate stores during the first hour after exercise. A drink solution containing protein, such as chocolate milk, might allow to better restore fluid balance after exercise than a standard carbohydrate electrolyte sports drink. Thus, combining protein to carbohydrate at a ratio of 1 to 4 is advisable. For more information about training and competing in the heat, please see the rest of our videos.